Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Smith. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. And they'll try the jet sweep here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He was well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards at first down, that fits the bill. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. From the 50, it's Smith. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. It leads to second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 42. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. Third and two, Smith. And he finds McLaurin. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Back to throw, Smith. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and it's third and short. It's third down, and one yard to go. To the air again, Smith. Now he's got it. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Touchdown. Steven Sims Jr., his second touchdown on the season. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. Oh, this is blocked. And the Eagles have got it. And he's into the clear. That's how we do it. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20. What's up? And he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. Taken about seven yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles take over first and 10. At their now own. back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. He has had a whale of a game in the third quarter. You're already over 200 yards. I don't know what more he can do at this point. Not a whole lot, and what he has found is that zone that we always talk about, where every carry feels great, every carry potentially is a sprint to the end zone, and all he wants to do is ride it as long as this game goes on. Yeah, now he's just thinking 300 yards, maybe. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That goes for a gain of 31. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are pouring it on. 
So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. They're going to keep it on the ground. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes it has a way of catching up with you. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yards. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play. And this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. From the gun, here's Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. First down, Washington. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Smith on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It's now second and ten. Throwing again. Smith looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And it's third down. Smith on third down. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, Smith. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Throwing again is Smith. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. The 40. The 20. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 29-yard line. 
A shotgun snap for Smith. And he'll complete this to Gibson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Smith. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. But your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding call. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down. Smith. Now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. That one is slant to McLaurin. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Who's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, third down here. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Smith throwing again. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, and they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Four yards to pick up, first down. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. They'll run with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10 at the 30. Now a carry for Sanders. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Allen on the call. it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But one thing we certainly know, Alabama churns out first-round picks, and there's another nice play there by one of them, Jonathan Allen, the big defensive tackle. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. They've had some success here in overtime with this open drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. 
Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Philadelphia, that's now five wins on the campaign as they get the